Hey guys, welcome to another video for Vayu and Bhima, also known as the Poco X3 Pro. Now, you do see that this particular device has been getting a lot of custom ROM updates and today's video is a little different. We are not only going to check what's new, we are also going to have a deep dive into the customization features of this particular ROM and we will also have a look at the benchmark. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other, so join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash, let's get going. Alright, now I know that the theme that you're looking at looks a little weird, a little different. That is the reason. I was just trying stuff before I actually get going and show you things over here. So I think it should look a little better now. Yep, much, much better. And as most of you have been telling me to shoot with the white theme on or the light theme on, that is what we are doing. So first things first, what I'd like to appreciate over here is the fastness and smoothness in the 120 hertz mode of this particular ROM. It's, it's just amazing. I know Wolf told me that this ROM is not the best when it comes to the UI smoothness, but my experience for this particular update at least is otherwise. Let's go to the Android version 11 Dubfest August security patch and version is 11 as well. 23rd of August is the date and it does come with the latest Mochi kernel. Now, I will admit one thing that although the UI is very, very smooth and very, very fast, sometimes I did see some frame drops over there. For example, this right here, is it looks very, very smooth. But if you were to go on some other custom ROM, for example, even Corvus for this particular device, it's maddening. It's, it's smoothness to another level. But that's not what we are here for. We are here to look at the customization part of this particular ROM, which starts with the launcher itself. So if you go to settings, you do have icon customization, icon pack and icon size. You can customize that. At the same time, if you go further, you have the second option of home screen. Now, just have a look at the number of customization options that you have in this particular launcher. Now, you do have app drawer settings over there and then you have miscellaneous options like enable blur and allow home screen rotation. And if you go to about, you do have the derp launcher. Apart from this, of course, you have your widgets over here and you have your styles and wallpapers in which you have a bunch of very, very bright derp fest wallpapers. Yeah, I sort of like them. I don't know about you. So if you go to styles, you do have a lot of predefined themes over here. As you can see over here, this, this, this. It changes the shape, color of the icon, the color of the UI, the accent color and stuff like that. You have the grid option over here. And then uh, you have the clock customization options as well. Actually, there are quite a lot of clock options, which is really, really nice. So you can go ahead and apply and you can also choose to select and apply the accent color. For example, there you go. The accent color is there. Not the best execution out there, but you can definitely go ahead and relate and make the changes as per your convenience. Now, that is not all. We are going to talk about the customization and there is this particular menu called Derp Quest. I think I have covered this in one of the other videos of quick impressions or first impressions, but this is really, really interesting because I want to now give more focus on custom ROMs and their customization because that is the reason they are known as custom ROMs in the first place. So let's talk about the performance customization first. So in battery, you do have thermal profiles, right? As you can see over here and moving on, you have Derp Quest, which is customization on another level. So you have actions, you have interface, status bar, lock screen and system and miscellaneous. So in actions, you have the power button customization. You can choose to enable advanced reboot over here, as you can see, and it works just fine power menu opacity is something you can select optional user action you can go ahead and add for example a screenshot over here as well there you go right 
So that works absolutely fine. Then you have navigation gesture options as well. So it's just your normal navigation gestures. And then you have activate the torch through buttons and basically brightness control, switch screen off, swipe to screenshot. So that option is working right off the bat. So pretty, pretty neat stuff there. And then you have the volume rocker customization. Now moving on in interface, you do have your quick settings customization. Like you can definitely pause the screen and have a look at the customization menu yourself. Now moving on, you have the themer over here, right? So you can go ahead and browse the themes that we saw earlier. You have the clock style options. You have the option to use the Android 12 search bar. You have the switch style, which you can, you know, go ahead and select as per your choice. Wi-Fi icons, signal icons, headline, pretty decent amount of customization there. Now moving on, you have heads up customization. Now I sometimes get really, really amazed with the amount of customization these custom ROMs have to offer. So, you know, once again, you can go ahead and play around with it and it will give you a lot of options as well. You have your pulse customizations over here and moving on, you have battery options battery percentage next to the icon so you can go ahead and enable that quick settings battery percentage you can go ahead and enable that as well and you do have the battery bar as well then you have clock and date customization so you can select the clock position to be on the left and it immediately changes the location you do have display cutout so if you have a look there you go there you go and that's a normal one with the punch hole camera then you have the network indicator. You can go ahead and enable it and it should work just fine. And then you have your status bar icons and your system icons as well. Now moving on, you have your weather options and your general options over here. Let's see what we have under general options. Quite a lot of general customizations. I like Celsius always display on schedule, screen of animation. You can select CRT. You see how the screen closed and if you set it to scale there you go works like a boss so pretty neat amount of customization fin fingerprint authentication error vibration lock screen media art clock font option wow aod icons on lock screen Wow, that's a lot of customization then you have your gaming mode now Dubfest is one of the roms which has a very elaborate gaming mode it might not have the you know amazing features like voice changer and stuff but it does have a very very elaborate gaming mode i'll quickly show you this so let's open for example cpu throttle test gaming mode turned on now have a look screen capture working like a boss screen record there you go screen recording started now next up you have this is the heads up notifications do not disturb lock gesture auto brightness and you can select power save or performance so for a custom rom that's quite an elaborate gaming board and i really really appreciate that you then have general notifications and you can enable screen or edge lightning faded solid looks great blink flashlight for call and you have miscellaneous customization as well in which you have force brightness values and g visual mod as well so all in all dubfest might not be the fastest and the smoothest rom out there but it does come with a ton of customization and if that is something that you really really like and you have a poco x3 pro you should definitely give it a try i'll tell you why let's have a look at the cpu throttle test first all right now as you can see over here CPU throttled to 91% of its max performance and the average score was 173, 627. Now that is not the highest score that I've seen on the POCO X3 Pro, but it's still a very, very decent score. Let's also have a look at the Geekbench score over here real quick. Now remember this device comes with a Snapdragon 860. So 769 single core and 2621 multi core, a pretty decent and strong score there. And then let's talk about N22 benchmark real quick. 561,017 so that's a pretty decent score as well right where 
560, 570 as you know where most of the ROMs for the Poco X3 Pro would score. So all in all, Dub Fest might not be the smoothest, but it works really, really well. It has a ton of customization and you can definitely use it as a daily driver. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Should we do more videos like this in which I show you around the ROM and also show you the benchmarks for the latest update? Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.